In this short video, I just wanted to mention some things about the generate source map setting. So you can see on my screen here, uh, the FTP program, I had mentioned in some of my other videos about using FTP to upload, create React apps up to a static web hosting company, could be any company that has like an Apache web server or a Microsoft IIS web server to host your statically built React applications. And so I noticed the files were accumulating the source maps and slowing down my FTP uploads. So like on the left side of my FTP screen is where the source code was at and where the source maps were being generated. And on the right side is an actual live location on the internet that I have set up off screen where the files are being pushed up to through FTP. So in the process of doing that, I noticed, like I had mentioned, the files were getting larger and taking longer to transfer. So I'm using a Windows 10 machine. And so I wanted to show here also on the screen, my package.json file on line 40. I had to get the syntax correct. And so you can see there how I set up the build command or build script. Uh, so by doing that, the source maps are no longer generated and therefore they are not taking up space on my FTP server. I also pulled up an article here just in case you were not aware of the source maps. And so this article here, you can see the URL. Don't use create react app until you know this. So this person was explaining how they noticed the perfectly formatted code showing up in the browser. And so if you read through this article, you'll see they're talking about the source maps that I just mentioned. So, you know, what are the source maps? Why do they matter? Do you want to show that kind of information in the web browser? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see reasons for having them and reasons for not having them. Basically, it would help you debug in production, but it does allow someone, if they knew where to look, to see all your source code put together and available. So if you don't want that kind of information, you may want to turn off the source maps like I showed in those settings. So hopefully that'll help you set the, up the setting on your Windows 10 machine. I also wanted to mention this documentation on the Create React App website. You can see here, Generate Source Map. It is used in production. When set to false, source maps are not generated for a production build. This solves out of memory OOM issues on some smaller machines. So there could be some performance issues related to turning it off also that you may want to consider. So I hope that was helpful and I'll talk to you in another video. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.